Comrades, I am Admiral Andre and welcome back to Real Politics. We continue now with the war on terror and there is a dread terrorist attack incoming and we must defend our people. Now this is in Hindu Kush, I believe. We will have a look at that in just a moment. But at least in the last episode we proved that we can take on a country like North Korea and win. So I think that was quite a deft uh, feat that we pulled off there, especially with a no step back in the great offensive. Now these things cost us uh, maintenance, especially the great offensive. You can see this is a really expensive thing. We don't want to keep this too long. But for the war on terror, I think that is still something we will need. So let's just have a look here. Um, we don't have any warmonger at the moment, or warmongering reputation, I suppose. But the US does, and certainly China does, and both of them are in the uh, sort of target of the UN. Now, China is totally out of my reach, but we can just have a look at them. 122, plus the Allies have another 42, 87, 21, no, it's, it's never gonna happen. Let's just be real about that. The US, what do they offer? Uh... Am I seeing things or what is this? Zero, zero. Do you... Oh, it's probably, but that's still very bizarre. This war with Mexico seems to have gone very much against the... Oh, no, no, no. I know what's happening here. No, I'm just not looking right. This is, of course, what they have in their reserves. Of course, they've committed all of their troops to the fight. So if we look here, we can see 110, 62, 68, and so on. So still very much overwhelming against us. Now, ideally, it would have been a good time to attack them right now with the war on Mexico as well at the same time, so that would have at least split their forces a little bit. But I still remember very well what happened with South Africa at the end when we tried to go to war with the US. That was a bloody conflict and it was very difficult to get a, a victory there. So I don't think we're technologically prepared for that. So that's just something I wanted to just look up quickly, but the numbers speak for themselves there. And this is not even looking at their actual abilities, but let's look at that quickly. So the armor is plus 11, plus 6 and plus 5. Ours is 13, 8 and 7. Interesting, maybe we're not that far behind, or at least not, not as bad as I thought. 11, 5, and 4, 12, 7, and 6, but that's also because of this whole great offensive and no step back thing. Wow, okay, now I'm a bit tempted here, but I know we have to deal with the terrorist thing first. 11, 13, and 13, and their aircraft... 11, 14, and 13, so in the air they still hold the slight advantage over us. But that's very interesting. Of course, we'll have to be producing units like crazy so that we can make up the losses in the battles, but still. When are they going to be at war again with another country? That's also the question. Right now, this war on Mexico is not going to last long, though. They're already 70% there, and probably if we attack them now, they just make a settlement. Uh, well, Mexico is certainly strong on its own, and you see what happened to them. No, I think we have to bide our time there. So, this terrorist thing, I think we're not going to do any more research right now. We need to save up some money. So, we'll leave it on the green energy one, of course, that's what we want. But this is the other thing I learned about this game. We don't have to research everything, particularly because various things will have uh, various different effects. For example, free weekends will actually improve or increase interventionism, which is not what we want. So things like that, you know, that it really does have a cost benefit that we have to look at very carefully. Although it sounds wonderful. Of course, I want to put free weekends in, but uh, economically, it's not the best idea. So, 
Let's focus on this war. Uh, let's have a look. Attack the terrorists? Let's wait. Just one moment. There was one other thing I wanted to look at. Since we liberated uh, or changed the government of North Korea, do they like us now? No, they don't actually. That is surprising, I have to say. I thought now, after I recorded the previous episode, maybe we could make an, uh, uh, a block with them, perhaps. But uh, clearly they hate us, so... It's because of the whole humiliation and all of that, but I thought the government that we installed would have been a bit friendlier than that, but okay, never mind that. But Iran certainly likes us. Are they willing to talk? We need a lot more military units, though. Well, I think we'll have to produce these units while we fight the terrorists, but I can queue up some right now. This is also why we can't do more research at the moment. We have to spend the money on this right now. But okay, it's on the way, so let's attack the terrorists. A sign, this is indeed in Hindu Kush. A sign 100% of course, and begin. Unpause, and our UAE allies will also be helping here. See, the world cannot say we never did anything for it. We are indeed a good power in the world, or a force for good, because we already changed the situation in North Korea and now we, we are doing the war on terror. Not the US, not Europe, nobody except us and of course the UAE which is our partner. Okay, it certainly does seem to be going quite well, uh, very much because of those advantages that we have from the great offensive and no step back. New armor, all right, bring it into the fight. Peace treaty between, you see, there it is, the US and Mexico. No, no, we would have been caught right between that and then the US would turn its whole fury on us. Even though now they have an extremely high warmonger level. They took this northern part of Mexico. Very interesting, uh, but you see again, it would just be us and the UAE alone against the US and, and of course its allies like Israel. That will just end badly for us. Now we'll just have to bully smaller countries right now. Eh, well, that's part of it. I'm just very worried about this whole building the Ottoman Empire because it's not going anywhere. Uh, partly or largely because of the fact that our spies are so horrifically bad. Hmm, air supremacy. I have to look out for the high chance of success. Military Operation 1. Next, uh, focal point attacks. I don't want to do that. Okay, just pause for a moment. They have four aircraft, so I don't know how the terrorists got aircraft, but anyway. Let's try and destroy that. Clear the skies. If we can knock that down to one, maybe, or even zero, then of course we'll basically walk over them. Every few years, so the projections right now, it's the midway point to the next score assignment, and we are pulling ahead now from Germany. At least, not by much though, but we're still second. And we are set to keep all the benefits that we have. I just want to close that gap with the US, but I'm wondering... Well, we still have almost 50 years, so the game is still young, comrades. The game is afoot. Hindu Kush, it seems we're walking over them. It shouldn't be too much of a trouble. Let's just hope we don't have too many losses. There'll be several of these battles. That I can guarantee you. Clear the skies. Bring it down. Pakistan, China, Mexico is also an... Oh, hold just the phone right there, right there. What is the situation in Mexico right now? Totalitarian. Hmm. Okay, they still have a lot of units, so the war with the US didn't wipe out their military. Hmm, well, it's something to keep in mind. I thought now, with their defeat at the hands of the US, maybe we could also pick on them, but I think right now, let's just focus on one thing at a time. Even with the war on, people still need time to rest and relax. 
If we'd allow longer leave days for our soldiers, their morale would increase somewhat. I think we must. There will be fewer units for the next two months, but we have more than enough. And uh, this will give us plus one attack modifier. You see, in any, let's just pause, in any sort of engagement like this, we need a minimum number of units. Right now, we're not even using our infantry, we're just using three aircraft. So these are really superfluous. So in, in essence, numbers are important. The, the number of units or battalions or divisions that you have are important. But more important is this attack stats. This is the real key to victory and of course any benefits you can get. Oh, heavy war losses, that's not good. Of course we can't bring that down while we're still in a war. But they only have two planes left. I think the minimum you need is two for any kind of engagement that requires the air. So once we knock out one more we should be able to uh, wipe the floor with them. Okay, now let's do something else. You see high, 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 high. It's all high. So that's because they don't have... Oh dear. Okay, you see this one you can clearly see. They need three aircraft, but they only have one. These are the ones they don't really need the aircraft. But now we totally rule the sky. So you can see there's a very clear benefit still. Even though they don't use aircraft in these battles. It still helps us. So if we can whittle that away it is a good thing but sometimes there's just too many units and it's going to take too long to do that but right now we still have the better part of a year to win come on any more units we won bring them in and now we just capture whatever cities the terrorists manage to take over let's get some more troops though uh, we need a lot more infantry Max it out. Those transports really worry me though. Because we essentially need them for all of these terrorist fights. Capture, come on. Liberate those oppressed cities of Hindu Kush. Italy is working closely with Germany. This can be a good or a bad thing. We know from history there has been a close relationship between those two countries at times and not necessarily for the benefit of the world. But anyway, there is the final offensive. Let us end this once and for all. Maybe we can start bringing down some of that war, war losses before the next attack. And that's the end of the terrorism threat. Okay. I was expecting more battles than this. Oh well, war between South and North Korea. So South Korea now thinks they're weak enough to, to or the North is weak enough to be taken over. We deserve the credit for that. We won the fight against the key terrorist group. Their organization has been shattered. Plus 50 and we lose a lot of unhappiness. Splendid! And now there's no more attack incoming. So what can we do now? Let us consider the matter here. Um, okay, who else is in the target? Pakistan. Well, so far it's been going very well. Uh, it's just that we mustn't get too too haughty or arrogant here. But maybe we should start being more active in the world. I think so. We are going to attack Pakistan and we are going to do what exactly? They are also totalitarian. No, this must stop. Let's hope I'm not getting us into too much trouble. We only have one transport left. This is a real big problem. Uh, one aspect of the game that I'm struggling with a little bit. Is anyone willing to sell us transports? Occasionally you'll see that, but this is so rare and I can't wait for our troops to be cut off before I get more transports, because it might not happen. Nothing, 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 nothing. This is a very weak part of the game, I'm afraid because it hampers us completely and you can't tell me that I can't just go and buy a transport from somebody. 
non-bordering countries, uh, they can still be destroyed by the enemy. But we need that project, so what now? Can't we just import one? Better ship supplier. More specialized requirements for imported naval vessels. That will help, but it doesn't give us any benefit there. Let's do it anyway. Since we're going on this route of arms imports, let's start improving our various components of the military and navy and air force. Oh, that's such a risk, such a risk, but I'm gonna take it, just because I'm feeling a bit reckless. Can we? No, we must bring down relations, let's do that. Maybe the UAE will be a pal and sell us a uh, transport vessel. With each passing day, more and more people demand legalization of homosexual relationships. Local conservatives, however, are still in opposition to such a move. Um, love is natural or it is against nature. No, it is natural. I will say here we are moving more and more towards a western path anyway with our financial system. So we are an open society now, even though I said originally we were going the religious route. But uh, no, we're doing this one. Score. Score is good. Now, uh, information, there is war, of course, we've seen this between the Koreas, and I think the South is probably going to win that one. And attack. You know, is, isn't it funny, anytime you want to bring down rel relations, it always succeeds, but anytime you want to improve it, it's always a gamble. Okay, we do have two transports here. Let's just have a look. We only have one, though. Maybe the UAE has the other one. Oh well, we're gonna win. I'm sure we will. So, can we afford it? Yes, we can. And we go to war. You know, I didn't even look to see if they were in a block. But it would have shown there anyway. Okay, come on. There. Oh, I didn't even... No, okay, never mind. I just clicked there by accident. I wanted to say establish a front first, but... A frontal advance was anyway a good idea. Secure the front. I just love how we're not getting any warmongering from this. Yes, okay, we're doing well. Capture the key cities. We are gonna enforce some changes here. Quickly, their ambush actions are coming into place. Too late, so that gives them attack modifiers, but... I think we, we, we still ha uh, have a good prospect of winning there. 13, 12, 12, 8. Our infantry is a lot better, so anytime we have a battle with infantry, we should win. Hopefully, anyway. In this case, I wouldn't actually uh, try to clear the skies. There's too many aircraft. It's gonna take too long. Ten diff 13 different battles just to get rid of the Air Force and by then they would have built new ones. Come on, let's get to about 70% again. It'll probably be the same. No more troops, come on. Nope. Well, those infantry units were already trained. A uh, diplomatic summit crisis between Brazil and Canada. I've never seen this configuration before. We are going to support Brazil, the up-and-coming powers in the world. Let's do that. Uh-oh, come on. Take the garrisons. We won. And we won against their attack as well. Supply lines. Let's just look at the stock market quickly. I feel there we might be neglecting things. Maybe India will also like us more now since we're doing something about Pakistan. So, heavy war losses. That's the only thing now. Next UN members have been selected. Now, this is a good question. Let's just pause. How far away are we from getting into the UN? 
Uh, statistics and GDP size and oh dear 16 we're four places away from getting into the Security Council anyway uh, well GDP size is 2223 right now and we do have a task to increase it so we're just behind Australia now who's behind us Egypt hmm Oh well. Something that we still have a lot of time to work on. Continue! We shall do something in Turkey. That's not the best rallying cry, or, but uh, hey! Hunger! I didn't even do the last investments there. What is this? Oh, what happened to that project there though? Maybe I'm forgetting what happened in the last episode, even though I just recorded it yesterday. But now that I'm seeing this hunger thing, I'm thinking, didn't we have a UN hunger project thing? I think we probably won that. Though I can't remember. Anyway, what is taking its toll on the people? Mass hunger spreads in the country. We can't let that happen. Use state reserves and distribute them amongst the people. So population growth is falling, but not as much as it would have if we just let people starve, which... Come on, this is Turkey, man. We're the 16th largest economy in the world. We're not going to let people starve. So, almost there, almost there, uh, all of this is equal, breakthrough, breakthrough is very high. Hmm, very funny, that, that UN thing just died there. Now oh well, Netherlands left the block of the US. Navy. When is the Navy getting into play? That's something I'm not really ever paying attention to. Chemical weapons. Oh dear. Some of our generals have proposed using chemicals on the front lines. There's no denying their effectiveness, but it isn't the most ethical way of fighting. Now what would an authoritarian country do? I don't know. Let's use them. Uh, relations with the world will drop, but we'll get a heck of a boost to our unit attack modifier but no no they're more trouble than they're worth if it was an existential threat like our country was being attacked by a greater power and we are fighting for survival then of course I would do it but now it's not worth it we're just teaching Pakistan a lesson for being a troublemaker we don't need to gas the people Iran, are you... let's just uh, hold that thought for a moment. Iran, will you join us? How far away are we? Oh dear. No, we still... we have enough units now, so it's just the relations. Getting them in our block will certainly be a boon. Block of Taiwan is no more. No, this is the People's Republic. Hmm. Okay, guess people are jumping ship there. What was that Taiwan? Republic of China. Now that was PR, People's Republic. Come on, we're almost there. We just need one more victory. Terrorists! Oh, come on. Our intelligence service managed to find a terrorist cell. They're currently preparing an attack on one of our major cities. We should act before it's too late. Now this is not one of those war on terror things. This is just a standalone event. But of course we must stop them. Diplomatic success with Iran. Let's just uh, cozy up to them now. We need them more than ever. Even though the chance of the block addition is only 38 percent that's still something but i think we'll need to help them oh dear that's way too expensive but we're almost there now we'll just have to wait a little bit uh now this terror thing well we still have about a year or more it'll be the same as the other ones we don't have to respond immediately can i uh, block of russia destroyed 
I could go for the demilitarization, but that score is half, basically. So, no. I want the big one. This is a costly battle, though. Ah, the UAE brings more troops. Commonwealth. Great Britain just crowned a new king. All the major countries of the Commonwealth just polished their dress shoes. Well, doesn't affect us. We have no more time for kings and queens. We are actually fighting to make the world a better place here. Come on, we're almost there. At least we turn another totalitarian state into an authoritarian one. East Yugoslavia has now been formed between Serbia, Macedonia and Montenegro. We got an offer to invest some money into our friend's business. It's risky, but it could be quite profitable. Well, it's not that risky. We don't have... it's not that expensive. But uh, let's do it. Maybe Azerbaijan will decide to join us again. But I want Iran. That's the one I want. Okay, peace, 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 peace. Will you take a political victory? We will impose a political system of Turkey and destroy your block, which you didn't have in the first place, but they refuse. Arrogant, arrogant, arrogant. Well, it. Uh, what, how does that saying go? Arrogance comes before the fall? Something like that, anyway. Uh, now we are basically just buying time here. We might even lose that one. Alright, just pause right now. 17 and 13. Hmm. It's gonna take so long to break their air force or armor divisions though. We could just, well, let's try it anyway. We're just buying time. They're trying to capture our supply lines. Hopefully we can hold them off there. Okay, we won that one. They gave up. Mongolia joined the block of Japan. And we're losing a lot of units here. Israel left the block of the US. We won that one. Come on, are you not willing to listen to reason? Focal points attacks. What does that, that actually give us? Let's try it anyway. Let me just close that. Hmm, Israel. Let's have a talk. Pause right there. Of course they're not in anyone's hit list. I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I'm wondering. Uh, they don't have many units. And we should be more or less on par with them. May have some water here. <clears throat> uh, well, let's try and fabricate. No, we can't do that anyway. Never mind. It's all for nothing. We don't border them. That would have been at least one step to rebuilding the Ottoman Empire. Canada and China. Well. Shall we just support China? I guess so. Stock exchange, they are in the stock exchange, so we should do that. Russia. Okay, we won that, just pause there. UK. Alright, uh, let's have a look. No, 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 no. 85%. So the focal attacks, they do help. Uh, will you accept now? Still you refuse. You are arrogant and haughty, but I will cause your fall. They're trying to get the supply lines, but they stopped again. We should have the green energy soon, but that's not the green energy focus yet. Failure! Oh well, Azerbaijan, that didn't really help. No, I don't want you in my block anymore. 
green energy. St almost there, just two away from actually getting that. No, I'm not going to spend our money that we've saved now on, on that. What I am going to do is pay off some debt. All of it. And we are at last under 30,000 with the debt, which is not a bad thing. You know, maybe I'll leave this episode off here, although we should probably try and just finish this thing. Yes, let's finish this thing. Although I should try to uh, stick to the time, because the other day the, the Subnautica video, uh, the latest one, took uh, the whole night and the whole day to upload, because it was a bit longer than the half an hour that I'm aiming for, but uh, it's worth it, but still. It's a bit easier if I just let it upload overnight. I need better internet, but uh, yes, YouTube doesn't want me for a partner, I guess. They don't want me in their block. Well, we'll just develop our economy and then maybe they will want us in their block. Come on. Almost. Advanced Navy, although that doesn't help. Okay, there it is. Pakistan has basically collapsed, so we are imposing a new political system. Does that give us any warmonger? It doesn't look like it. It's done. Now you have to accept. So, where are we? We're still third now. Oh, come on. We're six behind Germany and the prizes are assigned in two, two months, basically. Just over. Oof, I don't think we're gonna get it. That's not good though. They hate us as well. That's really unfortunate. I would have thought that the government that we impose would have liked us, but oh well. Iran, will you not consider? No, now we need more units and more relations. But that's for the next episode, comrades. And then we'll take the terrorists again. I think it went well this episode. We, we dished out some defeats to our enemies. And uh, yes, we slipped another spot now. But we'll get that back very soon. So, see you in the next episode, comrades. And thank you for watching as always. I appreciate that.